Moving on. Available statistics shows that more than 600,000 Nigerians die yearly due to oxygen-related diseases in hospitals. To address this problem, Kingsley Ekanem, a power and machines engineer, has fabricated a portable oxygen generator that can be carried around. He sourced some of the materials locally and his generator was deployed during the COVID-19 pandemic to help save lives at hospitals. Now, how does this work? Uh, just Nigeria's Uluwashin Widu has been to meet him. My dad was very, very sick. So I traveled to go and visit him in the hinterland. He was a preacher in a remote area. I discovered that he was hyposemic. I went back to my workshop where I used to repair medical equipment. I took up a portable oxygen concentrator. It's also an oxygen generating device. I opened it up trying to see the idea behind generation of oxygen. Only for me to discover that after wide research, that all what was required was a raw material that is locally available in Nigeria called zeolite. I discovered that it's even available in our backyard in the village by a form of clay, otherwise known as uh, Enugu clay. You put on the remote. Our medical oxygen generator starts to work. You can see the piston here is pumping the ambient air, it's, it's already passing it through the molecular sieve, separating the nitrogen from the air after the drying process is completed. And when the moisture is much, the color of the silica gel will change to brown. So now the color is still bright, it means that it is still okay and good to be put to use. So the oxygen now comes out to, through the humidifier from the humidifier to the patient. I got the information from one of our medical facility that they were complaining of the unavailability of oxygen. Very special grace of God, the facility started to make use of the equipment on patients and we were able to serve quite a number of patients. We are doing machineries of this class. Sometimes over 50% of the expenses is gone because you need to try things that won't work until you're able to get the things that will work. Innovative. There's not a camera on just in Nigeria from the BBC and channels television. E-commerce struggles in the Gambia as country lacks formal house addressing systems. We bring you this story and more after the break. Stay with us. Music